Wow, this thing is so cool. It follows my every move. But can it save the Rubik's Cube? I love the idea of tech like this. But in this episode of Is It Better With Tech, let's look at if this app really adds anything to the Rubik's Cube experience and maybe even revives it. And trust me, it has some weird features too. So stick around. Ever pick up one of these? It's haunted me for years. Sure, hardcore cubers have always been around, but Rubik's kind of faded from the mainstream after its early 2010s TikTok mini resurgence. Until lockdown hit. People were stuck inside, bored, plus it was the heyday of more and more connected devices. So what if the cube itself was smarter? Enter the GoCube Edge, a Bluetooth connected Rubik's Cube that promises to help anyone, or even hopeless cases like me, to teach how to solve this thing fast. I gave myself seven days, that's it. Can this tech rep toy finally help me crack the cube or is it just a flashy gimmick? All right, day one, fresh out of the box. And this is supposed to save all cube kind. Well, the packaging is very slick, I have to give them that. Inside you get the cube, a charging stand that's just really minimalistic, a charging cable and a neat little carrying pouch. The cube itself is chunkier than a normal one with rounded edges and built-in magnets. It actually feels premium. Charge it up. Paired it instantly, no hiccups. <laughs> wow, the scrambled cube shows up live on my phone. Slightly creepy, wildly cool. Now the real test of what's supposed to revive the classic Rubik's experience, the Academy tutorials. Step-by-step -step 3D instructions and because the app syncs in real time, it knows when I screw up. The app is like having a digital Rubik's Cube coach who gently roasts you every time you mess up. After two hours, I'm going to finish my first white cross. Yeah, I <laughs> get a nice little ching sound, but I also have a headache, so that's enough cubing for today. Woke up, stared down the cube, it stared back. I wasn't losing today. Today's lesson, the first full side. The app corrects you mid-solve. It's a very polite, persistent drill sergeant. And you know what? Compared to YouTube tutorials, this feels more personal, more interactive, more possible for me to learn the darn thing. I kept practicing everywhere and slowly I started to get it. Patterns began to click, moves made sense. Watching the physical cube mirrored live in the app, that was a game changer. It made abstract moves visible. By now I could kind of fumble through the solve. But there was one last frontier, the final layer. So I hit the practice modes hard, one layer at a time, over and over. The app lets you rewind to a specific cube state, perfect for drilling. <laughs> Nerdy, but brilliant. Okay, so I finally got a solve in 8 minutes and 42 seconds. It was slow, clunky, but I finally did it. The app tracks every move, every stage and gives feedback that actually matters. <laughs> Real progress. So let's tally up the score. Shock number one, I can now solve a Rubik's Cube consistently in under 3 minutes. That's mind blowing to me. Shock number two, the GoCube Edge isn't a gimmick. The tech actually made learning fun and possible. Shock number three, I want to keep cubing. I thought this was a one week experiment. Now I'm eyeing faster solves, <laughs> it's addicting. There are better cubes out there if you don't want the tech, but I haven't had it glitch out at all during this trial and it tracks incredibly well. You're definitely paying for the hidden tech inside. I give it an 82 for value for money. So overall that's a score of 90, bringing this to second place in our list of products that are better with tech. But the question is, what's next? The Rubik's Cube is fading again, so what kind of tech will really bring it back? And please check out more Is It Better With Tech with this video where I check out an AI connected Smart 4, which is way smarter than it has any right to be, no joke.